Vincent from HDTV test and LG confirmed that there is a drop in the peak brightness when you're using HGHG on the LG CX with the latest firmware. But I also have very good news for you and the first one is Tony is back! Boss, you haven't paid me in weeks! Hey, Tony, I told you we're not talking about this in the video, okay? Let's finish the video I talk okay. yeah, later, okay? The latest firmware from LG, 03.21.09, drops the peak brightness in HGHG gaming mode and just in HGHG gaming mode at around 100 nits. But there's also a very nice improvement and yeah, let's talk about this. The latest firmware improves Dolby Vision, especially in darker scenes. We have less color bending and we have a better color graduation. When you look at this picture, the difference is very, very big in my opinion. But question is, should you update your TV now or not? Okay, should you update now your TV or not? And first of all, LG announced there will be a fix in the upcoming weeks, but of course we don't know what does it mean? Can be two weeks, four weeks, eight weeks, 20 weeks, we don't know. And second of all, it's all about your user case. If you're just watching movies on, especially Dolby Vision movies and you're not playing at all, but then I have to ask you why you bought this TV because this is the, one of the best gaming TV ever, um, but different story. So if you're just watching movies and you're not playing at all, then go for it, install the latest firmware 032109 because you have a big improvement when it comes to Dolby Vision and this, yeah, especially in the black or in the darker scenes. But if you're playing or if you're a gamer and you're using mainly this TV for gaming and then you're using HDR and HGHG, of course, because in dynamic tone mapping, it looks everything is hunky-dory. So then we have a problem, of course, because 100 nits or 100 candela is a big drop when we're talking about brightness. Okay, quick summary about the latest firmware from LG for the CX series, the 03.21.09. Big improvement when it comes to Dolby Vision, especially in the darker scenes. So if you're just or mainly using this TV for Dolby Vision, then go for it, install the firmware. But if you're mainly gaming on this TV, especially in HGHG and HDR, then I would not recommend to install this firmware. Wait for the next firmware where this bug is fixed and then you're good to go, okay? Because there is no other improvement so far as I can see in terms of, yeah, better, uh, yeah, VR or whatsoever. The flickering is still there, it looks like, and stuff like this. So there's no improvement then for you if you're just a gamer, okay? So that's for this video. I hope I yeah, covered everything. And uh, if you're new to this channel, just subscribe because you will see more videos like this and also check out my other videos. I did a lot of Let's Plays in a couple of days in HDR in a very nice quality. It took me ages to render this. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave me a like and a subscription and of course a comment. See you next time. Bye.